Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tea Weekly. Um, today's tea continues to be serious. I wanted to just make a short video to thank people um, for all the kind words and everything, all the messages that I received after my I'm Still Hurting uh, video. I did not expect the response that I received. Um, it was just a, a, a video that was the result of a reaction that I had to a song that just still makes me really, really emotional. Um, a lot of people uh, like started contacting my parents and were worried and you know just wanted to find out like if I'm okay. I in that video I was having a moment of where I was broken um, and I I was in a lot of pain and I was feeling all of these emotions very very intensely and that's why I cried. I, I don't always find myself in those situations. I, at this moment in time even, um, I have to admit I'm a little bit down. Um, before this I tried to just uh, film or record a, a book review of the next uh, book in the True Blood series. And I just, I'm just not up to it today because I'm just, I just don't feel particularly sparkly and bubbly and you know, in the mood to talk about the book. I, uh, I, I, I was contacted by people who told me their stories, told me how they could relate to my video and I found great joy in that because I want to share my mental illness journey with you guys. I want to reach out to uh, companies uh, to talk to them to find out what is being done in terms of possibly finding a set um, mood stabilizer, set antidepressant, um, because the back and forth is really, really exhausting and taxing. I don't know if you can see like the bags under my eyes, but I'm like not sleeping properly which means my medication is, is I've become used to it and it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So I have to contact my psychiatrist uh, just because I'm not sleeping. I, my story is very, very, um, it's, I don't know if complicated is the right word, but there are so many things that I want to discuss with you guys. Um, I'm building, I'm working on like just the scaffolding and then I'm going to fill in like, you know, I'm going to lay the foundation and the bricks and the windows. Um, I want my story to have structure and I have to uh, sort of sit around with my parents and start from like what age it's, mm. I was triggered and what age I was diagnosed with depression and in what age uh, I was diagnosed with bipolar type 2 mood disorder and also just talk about the fact that for the longest time I just didn't accept that I have depression and that I am bipolar and how that was a completely separate journey um, of just self-denial and just trying to to be as healthy as possible but struggling so much and I have all of these ideas of things I want to do but I'm gonna I have to put work in I have to do the research I have to get my statistics right I don't want to deliver any uh, misinformation I don't want to um, tell you which chemicals are responsible for depression and bipolar and any mental illness um, and which hormones are also affected so this is going to be something that i'm really going to commit to i am still going to finish the true blood series i cannot just stop at book number six there are another eight bear with me um I love reading and it's one of the ways that I cope with my mental illness so I don't I don't want to stop the book reviews I also received Big Magic uh, by Elizabeth Gilbert I received this book uh, yesterday it's 
I've just read the first 15 pages and it's already like just like there are like chemical neurotransmitter uh, there are what do you call it them neuro impulses that are just like sparking off and it's it's exciting um, on the back it says uh, consider her your own personal life coach and I, th I for some reason um, at some point instead of like a psychologist I want to find like a life coach um, because I'd really like someone who its main main job is to help you become the best version of yourself and so, sometimes psychiatrists don't really focus on that they do try to help you there but uh, not as much as, as I would like so I again just want to say thank you so much um, I have more stories to tell you I have uh, so many video ideas for this channel um, I would really really love to be an advocate for mental health mental illness uh, especially the mental illness that I have and that I live with every day um, making that video was upsetting um, I, I you know caused my parents to also uh, have very emotional reaction and you know it's so easy to forget that I have this illness because like six out, six seven out of ten days I'm I'm happy bubbly uh, Lee and then the other three days I'm like just incredibly angry and sad and just moody I I I, I I'm actually happy that I am sharing this with you while I am going through a down episode because so you can just see and compare how I am in each vlog I am uh, going to ask you guys to ask me questions in the comments um, I, I have coping mechanisms in place I'm going to be mentioning that in other vlogs um, I'm going to be telling you what I do in terms of a healthy eating plan uh, it's not a starvation diet um, it's just to just you know get rid of as many um, unhealthy foods and, and chemicals and processed meat um, exercise is also something that I love to do like blast my favorite song and just dance my butt off um, my song of the day is Lady Gaga's Rain On Me. I listen to that every morning and it, because it's just such a spunky song, I, it just gets me going for the day. It's like, it's like coffee, but it's a music video. Um, please do not uh, unsubscribe. Uh, please do not uh, stop watching these vlogs because there are there are those of you who need to hear this there are those of you who relate to my story your story is exactly like mine um, your story is different I um, I will be talking generally about uh, some other mental illnesses but as I said before I don't have much knowledge of mental illnesses outside of mine um, but there are journals online there are I know a lot of people are like don't trust Wikipedia and Google but the, it's it's best to read up um, on the mental illness that you have to be just to prepare yourself for what you will experience so it's it's not terrifying and scary and, and just an awful awful world to live in um, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to say thank you for dropping in. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, please remember to smash that subscribe button. Uh, smash the bell icon to receive notifications. Smash the like button and leave a comment or, or ask me a question. I um, am still at a, a point where I can still answer questions because the comments aren't that many. Um, but I am going to um, 
like write down your questions and then just answer them like in another separate vlog i hope you guys are having an amazing day i am recording this it's friday the 19th of june um i'm going to be adding a lot of b-roll as well and then i'm going to upload it uh, on wednesday it'll be up at 12 um and then I'm also just going to be uploading a book review. Oh, it's definitely dead and it's Sam's book. And Sam is my crush at the moment. You guys, um, stay warm. Um, remain understanding. I don't know if that's the right thing to say. And always, always be kind. I love you guys. Mwah!